Hello darlings, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be trying out African threading method on my natural hair and this is basically a procedure where they normally use threads to stretch your natural hair so it gives it a blowout look. So instead of using a blow dryer or other forms of methods to straighten your natural hair, but not really straighten it, but just kind of um, stretch it, you could use this method. So I'm gonna be trying this out for the first time today. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time and I mean like for years. So I actually have some ribbons that I'll be using today. I will not be using the actual thread that they usually use for this procedure. So I'll be using ribbons. So it's a bit tangled right now, but I'll be just cutting pieces as needed for each section. So I'm doing this on clean, freshly shampooed hair. I shampooed my hair this morning and I just damped it a little bit with some water that I have here in my spray bottle. So I'll be doing this on somewhat of a damp, um, damp hair instead of completely dry hair. So I'll be using this Curl -a -la cream for my moisturizer and I will be going in first as well with my Jamaican black castor oil to oil my scalp. So I've had my hair in these two sections since I shampooed my hair earlier today and I'm just gonna go ahead and start making some smaller sections and show you guys how this is done. So I'm gonna just cut this half of the section in another half. So I'm putting it in quarters instead. Just wet the hair some more so that it traps all the moisture possible. Oh, and first I'll be going in with the TGIN Green Tea Super Moist Leave-In Conditioner. Next I'm going in with this curl of cream picking up a good amount of it I think this is a quarter inch lace and I do have another one I'm looking for it it came on a reel but for some reason it just came off and it got all tangled up like this I'm just taking this entire chunk of hair my hair is not so thick, so I think I can get away with that. Kind of loop the thread around the hair like this all the way to the root. I think I'm gonna tie it once. And I'm not putting any pressure on it or anything. Just making it nice and relaxed and then putting it first time around the hair. I'm gonna wrap it around. Starting with the root. Where this thread stop right here. I'm just gonna start with the next piece of thread. I put a sharp piece in it and just continue wrapping until I reach the ends. And where this piece of ribbon stops, I'm just starting with another piece of ribbon. I hope this is not difficult to come out at the end because I'm just taking little pieces because it's a lot easier to wrap when the piece of ribbon is not too long. So I'm just doing it like I'm twisting my hair. Trying to make it overlap so it's really close. So I'm almost at the end of this one. Um, this is all the hair that is left at the end right here. Just added some more moisturizer to the tip of it. Going all the way down to the ends. Kind of seems like to me like I'm doing four locks on my hair. But yeah, can you guys believe I've never ever ever done four locks on my hair? That's also something I want to try out but I've been just like too lazy. So yeah, um, I just make a loop with it, so I just leave my fingers 
open a little, a little loop right here and then I'm gonna tuck this in right here so this is how I'm securing it I think I'll do that second time hope it doesn't pull out while I'm sleeping I like when my whole locks look like real dreads and it's so hard getting that real dreads kind of look so yeah this is the first one well, let me show you guys the distance with the length. Let me cut off this piece so you guys can see it clearly. I'll leave it a little bit longer than my hair so it's easier for me to identify it. Wow, this is a lot of length. All right, so the roots are not yet done. They're still puffy. I can't be show you guys properly. But yeah, it really stretches out your hair. I'm gonna do the root of it. I'm just taking a little piece of ribbon that I have left over and I get it right back at the root. Guys, don't make it too tight, that's not good. It's feeling a little bit too tight already, so I can loosen it up. Yeah, that's fine. Don't know if you guys are hearing talking in the background. My husband is playing video games now, so. Yeah, if you guys are hearing him talking, it's coming from him. taking the next piece of thread and I'm going in the same direction with this piece of thread it doesn't really matter but I just think it's easier to untangle it so yeah I'm just going in the same direction like this wrapping it around coming down to the ends detangle some more a little bit more moisturizer a little bit more oil, a little bit more water if necessary. And then just keep wrapping. Adding some more th um, ribbon and just continue the process. guys we don't want it too tight this one is a little bit too tight so i'm just easing it up a little now that we're at the end make like a d with the thread come through like this and just tie it and i think one time is enough i'm just going to continue the rest of it So guys, this is the finished results after I put in all of the ribbons in my hair. Yeah, this actually took a good amount of time. I was able to talk to my mom, my dad, my sisters. As you guys see, even my candles are completely out on one, still left burning. Drink off my tea. I still didn't undo this one for some reason. It still doesn't feel as relaxed. But I'm tired now, it's late. I It took me about two hours to do this. And I don't know if it's just me, but Every time when I'm doing this right side, I know that one side of your body is bigger than the other side, but I always thought that my left side was bigger than my right side. But my right side of my hair is a lot thicker. So it was kind of hard getting them in the same sections like I did over the left side. So I was thinking of even making the right side with more sections than the left side because it wasn't as easy sucking it in to make it really 
um, stretched out like the left side but I got it done I did the same amount for each side so I have 12 in total but anyways I'm gonna be going to bed right now and then I will come back on here in about two days and do the take down process and we will all see what the finished results look like I just took out my scrunchie and now I'm gonna take down these ribbons from my hair we're gonna see what the final results um, are they're already coming off this is so easy okay let me see the rest of it I guess I'm just sliding them off I think that's why it is so important to make sure your hair is properly moisturized before doing this so that you can easily slide off your, off your hair Only thing I can say is that it takes a bit of time to do this, like two hours roughly around there because you have to do the top of it yourself and it's kind of hard that your hands are up in the air like this for a little while. But I will say that it is totally worth it because your hair is more protected. You're giving your hair a chance to really absorb all the moisture. Better done wet, I would say, because you're really locking all the moisture. I want to rock this first. It's really pretty. My hair is starting to feel a lot better already. I'm being honest with you because I really couldn't take another blow dryer right now. That's why I kind of said let me do this now because I've been wanting to do this for some time. But I've just been procrastinating. Finally did it. And I think I'm going to be doing it more often. I would definitely recommend you guys try it out if you have never tried this on your hair. If you have tried this on your hair before, let me know what you think about it. If you like it for your hair, I really love this method takes time but i definitely love it so this is it for this video guys i really hope you guys found this video helpful if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave leave me a comment and i will see you all in my next video 